What is going on guys, it is Goalie Hub here back with another video and about a month or two ago I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos suggesting that I should go over some of the top goaltending prospects at this year's upcoming NHL draft. So that's what we will be doing today and shout out to Fullback for giving that suggestion and you know if you want to see more content like this be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you watch until the end to see all my picks for my top 10 goalie prospects of the 2020 NHL entry draft. Let's go! So coming in at number 10 on my list is Dylan Garand of the Kamloops Blazers in the WHL. He is currently 17 years old as he was born on June 7th, 2002 and he's 6 foot 1, 172 pounds. And for each of my picks I will have a projection of where I think each goalie could go in the draft. So I think Dylan Garand could easily be a 5th round pick, maybe even slide into the late 4th round but I think more likely he'll end up in the 5th round. As this past season for Kamloops, he played 42 games, putting up a 2.21 goals against average and a .921 save percentage. Some pretty solid stats on a solid Kamloops team. He honestly had a really solid season playing in his first year as a WHL starting goalie. And I guess the only thing you could really discredit him for is that he was playing on a really good team. So maybe his stats were inflated a little bit by uh, the team he was playing for. And NHL Central Scouting in their final rankings ranked him as the 6th best North American goaltender. Now at number 9 on my list, I have Slovakian born goaltender Samuel Lavage. He is currently 18 years of age and he was eligible for the draft last year but was passed over so he is an overager this season. He does have really good size for goaltender as he is 6 foot 4 and 207 pounds. My draft projection for Samuel Lavage would probably be a late 4th rounder or early 5th rounder, kind of hard to tell, sort of in that range though I would say. And of course these draft projections are based off of other scouts draft rankings as well as my own opinion mixed in there. In this past season, Lavage in his first season in the QMJHL played 39 games, putting up a solid 2.25 goals against average and a .915 save percentage. Those numbers ranked him first in goals against average and third in save percentage out of all goaltenders who had played at least 15 games in the QMJHL. He did make it onto Team Slovakia's roster for the 2020 World Juniors where he had less than impressive stats putting up a 5.37 goals against average and an 8.51 save percentage in 5 games played, but to be fair, Slovakia was not a very good team at the World Juniors. At number 8, I have Russian goaltender Amir Miftikov. Miftikov is the oldest goalie on my list as he is 20 years old. He is 6 feet tall and 165 pounds and my draft projection for Miftikov is the late 4th or early 5th round as he seems like a good goalie prospect but one thing that could be a knock against him is his age as he is 20 years old just like I mentioned earlier. He mainly played in the VHL which is a league just below the KHL over in Russia where in 23 games played he put up a solid 2.19 goals against average and a .913 save percentage and he also got into 2 KHL games where he had a 2.31 goals against average on a .886 save percentage. He also did play for Team Russia at the 2020 World Junior Championships where in 5 games played, he played really well putting up a 2.12 goals against average and a .919 save percentage, stealing the starting job from projected first round pick Yaroslav Askarov. In their final 2020 draft ranking that they just released pretty recently, the NHL Central Scouting ranked Miftikov as the 5th best European goalie for the upcoming draft. Honestly, I think Miftikov could be good enough to play in the KHL next year since he had decent stats this year in the VHL and I think he will be ready for that big step next season. At number 7, I have Jan Bednar. He is a 17 year old from the Czech Republic and he is a big guy coming in at 6 foot 4 and 196 pounds. I have him going in the 4th round as he has really good size for a goalie which will help him take up a lot of that space in the net, but he did have some poor stats this past season and he has had some better stats in previous seasons, but I do have him going in the 4th round. 
He did play most of the year in the Czech 2 league, where in 24 games played, he had a 3.26 goals against average and a .873 save percentage, and he got into 13 Czech league games, which is a league above the Czech 2 league, where he had an abysmal 4.39 goals against average and a .884 save percentage. Not a great season. You can't really knock against Bednar too bad, as his Czech 2 team only had 9 wins in 58 games and finished last in the league, and the team he played for in the Czech league still only finished 9th in the league out of 14 teams. I've seen a lot of other rankings by scouts rate him a lot higher than what I have him at, which kind of makes sense since he was Rookie of the Year in the Czech Extra Liga just last season. And the NHL Central scouting ranked him as the second best European goalie in this draft. I was honestly thinking about putting Bednar higher up on my list, but I decided to put him at number 7 just because mostly of his poor stats this past season. At the 6th spot on my list, I have Swedish goaltender Kali Klang. Klang is 17 years old and he clocks in at 6 foot 2 and 176 pounds. I have him going in the 4th round of the draft as again he's another solid prospect with you know a bit of upside but he's not good enough to be in the top 3 rounds. He played most of the year in the Super Elite League in Sweden, which is their top junior league, where in 34 games played, he had a 2.64 goals against average and a .913 save percentage, and he also got into 3 under 18 junior league games, and he had a 2.75 goals against average and a .897 save percentage. Kali Klang has been rising up the draft rankings all throughout this season, as a lot of scouts in the beginning of the year had him either going undrafted or maybe at best in the 7th round. And now I've seen some scouts rank him as high as an early third round pick. NHL Central Scouting ranked him as the fourth best European goalie for this draft. At number 5, I have Czech born goaltender Nick Malik. He is currently 18 years old and he is 6 foot 2 and 174 pounds. I have him as a third round pick and a lot of the scouting rankings I saw also had him as a third rounder. Malik had a very up and down year as he started off the year in the Czech 2 league playing 19 games, playing really well putting up a 2.46 goals against average and a .927 save percentage and then he went into the Czech league where he got 2 games. Did not play that well, posting a 7.95 save percentage there. And then he came over to the OHL to play with the Sioux Greyhounds, where in 16 games played, he struggled with a 3.77 goals against average and an 8.86 save percentage. Those OHL stats could be attributed to the fact that he was probably still adjusting to the North American ice. As we all know, Europe's ice rinks are wider than the ones here in North America. Malik also did get into one game for Team Czech Republic at the 2020 World Juniors, where he had an 864 save percentage. Malik was ranked 10th out of all North American goaltenders as they counted him as a North American goalie since he was playing in Canada by the end of the season. A couple interesting facts about Nick Malik is that he is actually the son of former NHLer Merrick Malik as you may remember from that insane between the legs shootout goal against Washington. Another thing is that he is actually an American born goalie technically since he was born in North Carolina. At number 4, I have probably my favorite goalie of this draft class, it is Drew Camesso. He is 17 years old and he's from the United States of America and he is 6 foot 2 and 181 pounds. I am again agreeing with most of the scouts out there saying that I think Camesso will end up going in the third round. He had a really good season this past year, as in 27 games playing for the United States Development Program, he had a really solid 2.05 goals against average and a .920 save percentage. He also played 11 games in the USHL, where in those games he had a 2.01 goals against average and a .917 save percentage. With such a great year that he had, I would not be surprised if a team even took him in the late second round. NHL Central Scouting ranked him as the second best North American goalie. He just overall had such a great year that I really like him as a prospect and plus he also had a pretty sick setup. At number 3 I have finished goaltender Joel Blomqvist. He is currently 18 years old and he is 6 foot 1 and 205 pounds and I have him going in the third round as he actually had a really solid season. 
He played 34 games in Finland's top junior league, the Junior ASM Liga, and he had a 931 save percentage. And he also had a 1.66 goals against average, which I uh, forgot to put in the graphic. He also got into two Liga games where he did have an 808 save percentage. NHL Central Scouting ranked him as the third best European goaltender. One thing about Blomqvist is that he won a league championship in the 2018-19 season in the Junior A SM Liga and was also named to an All-Star team and won an award for best goaltender all in that same season. Coming in at number 2 as just the third North American goalie on this list is Canadian born goaltender Nico Dawes. Nico Dawes is 19 years old and he is 6 foot 4 and 203 pounds and I have him projected going in the late second round or early third round as he did have a really good year and got to play at the World Juniors. Playing 38 games for the Guelph Storm in the Ontario Hockey League, he put up a 2.48 goals against average and a .924 save percentage. He also played two games for Team Canada at the 2020 World Junior Championships where he had a 5.83 goals against average and a .840 save percentage en route to winning the gold medal. NHL Central Scouting ranked Nico Dawes as the best North American goalie available for this draft. In the OHL, he led all goaltenders in save percentage and shutouts, putting up 5 shutouts. A cool little fact about Nico Dawes is that he was actually born in Munich, Germany, but he moved to Canada when he was just 6 months old. And finally, at the top spot on my list, not surprising anyone, I have Russian born goaltender Yaroslav Askarov. He is 17 years old and he is 6 foot 3 and 176 pounds and I have him going in the top 15 of the draft which I will elaborate on in a moment. He played 18 games in the VHL where he had a solid 2.45 goals against average and a .920 save percentage as well as playing one game in the KHL where he led in 2 goals and had a 920 save percentage as well. He also played at the World Juniors where in 5 games he had a 2.71 goals against average and a .877 save percentage on Russia's silver medal winning squad. Honestly his performance at the World Juniors was not as dominant as everyone thought it would be. Of course NHL Central Scouting ranked him as the best European goalie available for the draft. When Askarov made his KHL debut, he became just the second youngest goalie in KHL history to do so. And about my draft projection earlier, I think he'll go top 15 instead of maybe top 10. Like at the start of the year, I had him as a bona fide top 10 prospect in my mind. But the one thing that might have concerned some people, including me, would be his World Juniors performance as I thought he would be a lot better than he actually was at the World Juniors. And that might bump him out of the top 10, but he's definitely still a top 15 pick. So, we have finally reached the end of my list of the top 10 goalie prospects eligible for the 2020 NHL Draft. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other content. And also, be sure to follow my Instagram at goalie underscore hub, as all of that would be greatly appreciated. Another quick thing is that I have recently joined the Broly Talks Hockey podcast, so if you want to check that out, that will be linked down below in the description. And I really do appreciate all the feedback, all the positive feedback that you guys give me in the comment section and by subscribing to the channel. It really just makes me more motivated to keep going with this channel. And I'm going to try and upload every Wednesday and every weekend. So look out for a new video on Wednesday as I will try to stick to that schedule to get more content out for you guys. And if you guys want to check out my full in-depth video on Yaroslav Askarov, which I made a while ago actually, now that I think of it, a little card will pop up in the top right corner. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took me a while to make all the research I had to do for all the stats and just looking at all the different scouting rankings. It's definitely been a long time, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.